In this video, we're going to talk about installing themes. If we go over to Appearance and Themes, this is the area where we can install new themes from. We would go to Add New. Now a note about themes. When choosing a theme, you ideally want to choose a theme that's got a track records of updates and maintenance. You don't want a theme that's just been released. It's also wise to take a look at the theme's designer and developer. Some theme designers create hundreds of themes and other designers and developers spend years working on one robust framework. I personally favour the framework approach as opposed to lots of different themes that aren't maintained for more than a year or two. What you can see right now are the featured themes as we're on the Featured tab. And if you click on Details and Preview, it'll bring up an overview of the actual site and how it would look with this theme. Now, as you can see, there's a screenshot. There's some ratings, only two ratings, and it's version 1.02. That personally would put me off from using this kind of theme. You could also search WP Hoot and find out more about them. If you click the X to go back, then you can continue to browse and look at some others. 1.04, one rating. Now we are on the featured page, so this probably puts preference on new themes. Let's go to popular. Obviously these are the themes we've got installed. Here's the popular Astra theme. This is the free version. So as you can see, five stars, 3,400 ratings, version 2.3.1 brainstorm force they're reputable developers if you go and search them you can find out more but you looking at this you'd instantly know that this is the kind of theme where it's just going to work you know it's going to do everything you need it to do it's a framework as opposed to just a theme that looks one particular way you can customize this theme to any design and style so if we install that and then activate. We come back to our themes overview screen and you can see that Astra is now the active theme. If I go to the actual front end tab and refresh, there you go, it's changed designs. This is the free Astra theme out of the box. Now while the Astra theme is free, some of its features, some of the pro features, depend on a premium plugin. So in that case, we would need to go back to themes. We would go to plugins, add new. And as this is a premium plugin, we would have had to have downloaded this from their website after purchasing. So then we go to upload plugin, choose file. This Astra add-on is the file. I've already got the folder open. Install. Once this is installed, it will unlock Astra's potential and all of its advanced features that aren't available without this plugin. So that's installed. Then we go to activate. And that would be the process of installing Astra free theme with a premium plugin so it maximizes its functionality. And then you want to activate your license so that you can get automatic updates and everything else. Next, let's take a look at installing a premium theme from our computer. And this time we'll use a theme that uses child themes. So it's a little bit different to installing a normal theme. Let's head over to Appearance and Themes. Let's go to Add New, Upload Theme, Choose File, and let's select Genesis, version 3.2.1. Let's install this theme. There we go. 
Now, instead of activating this theme, because it uses child themes, and this is essentially the parent theme, we want to hit the back button. I want to hit upload theme, back to choose file. And this time I'm going to choose the child theme I've got downloaded, which is Genesis sample, which basically just gives you a blank canvas. Click OK. Install now. And I'm going to activate the child theme. And here's the welcome screen it's asking me to choose one or the other styles. So I can install that style there. It's now looking for recommended plugins that work well with this theme. Certain themes have plugins that they require to get the full potential. And so this is just running its process now. So it's completed installing and activating plugins. Now it's adding some sample content. One problem people have is they will install a theme but it won't look anything like the demo site. And so this process helps to make sure that's more seamless. So we go to view our homepage or I can just refresh the homepage. And there you go. You'll see that's how this theme now looks out of the box. After you've installed a new theme, it's a good idea to go through the dashboard and see what's new. As you can see, this Genesis theme has added a Genesis section with several sub pages. So theme settings brings us through to the customizer, but takes us through to a series of options that weren't available in the other themes. If I go back, you'll also see SEO settings. Again, brings us into the customizer. It gives us control over things that are relating to SEO. If I was to activate the Astra theme again, we will see we have Astra options underneath appearance. If we click on that, that brings us through to an entirely new section of WordPress that's specific to Astra and allows you to control pretty much every detail. So as you can see, different themes provide different options pages and different type of capabilities.